And please welcome our final storyteller of the evening, Michaela Bly. In the elementary school where I teach, there are Legos that are very valuable and Legos no one gives a shit about. <laughs> the ones you don't really care about are the ones there are thousands of. The gray two by fours, the black two by fours, anything that's red, for some reason all we have are red Legos. And um, the ones that are valuable are the things that you can't really find. So. Uh, there's a second grade, a third grade, and a fourth grade. Everyone's got bins. And in these bins, the things you very rarely see are um, uh, anything lime green. I think uh, once upon a time we had a set that was lime green. Anything that has a, a picture on it, it's kind of magical. And then these jewels. They're these little plastic, clear, colored Legos. And they really look valuable. And, I mean, I'm kind of psyched about them, too. <laughs> um, and... Uh, Every class has, and especially my class, has what I like to call the black hole boys. They are the boys who sit anytime there's choice time and put together Legos and discuss theories of outer space and infinity. And they like, they build spaceships and they're like, well, but okay, but could there be a black hole that, that would be strong enough to pull other black holes in? And they all sort of think about that for a while. <laughs> and um, they're my boys, I, I like them. I, I'm, I'm really into them. And um, and most of playing Legos in, in anywhere in, in my school is really mostly just pawing through looking for the valuable ones. I mean, you, of course you could build with them, but that's not the fun part. The fun part is I found this orange jewel or whatever. So um, that's always a big deal. And all the bins are outside underneath the cubbies. So every class has their bins you know, near, near their class's cubbies. The second, I teach third grade. The second graders come to me one day and they say, we need your help. We think someone's been stealing our jewels. <laughs> now they have to dismantle all their Legos at the end of every week so that it's really fair. So you have a chance to paw through and find the jewels anew every Monday. And they have been noticing that over the course of several weeks, they find fewer and fewer jewels and they suspect my class. <laughs> and I say, you know what? That's not really fair. I, I'm sure that it is not my guys who are doing that. And they say, well, we think you should look through their bins at their spaceships and find out if they've got our jewels. And I said, you know what? That's not what we're going to do. We're going to trust them. We're going to ask them, did you take those jewels? And if they say no, we're going to believe them. Because secretly, I'm thinking, there's no A, there's no way my boys did it, and B, I, I don't really want to get in the middle of that if that's what's going on. <laughs> so, so... Um, so we ask my boys, and uh, the, the sort of ringleader, the, the head of the Black Hole Boys, Edward, is this very smart, very sour kid whose spaceships are amazing. I mean, they look like they could really go. And, and um, he says, no, we have not. Have you tried the fourth grade? Because those guys think they're so big. <laughs> and so me and these, these three little second graders go to the fourth grade, and we say to some of the fourth graders who are playing with Legos in a very much tougher, apparently, way, um, did you guys take these jewels? And the fourth graders say, no. And then later, privately, they say, you know, are you sure the second graders are telling the truth? Because they think they're so cute. <laughs> there begins to have, there, there's a culture of fear developing across all three grades, no one trusts each other. Everyone's sort of looking at each other's things that they're building, and the teachers are picking up on it too. I'm sort of watching everyone's spaceships being like, I don't remember that orange one and that green one and the blue one in the second grade of 2A. That's not, I don't know if that's right. And I'm sort of getting, I'm sort of getting there too, but we're all kind of watching each other. And then I am getting homework Edward does his homework and does more homework than he needs to, but he always forgets to hand it in. And so I just randomly, you know, I go into his cubby just to grab the math homework that I know is in there. Under the math homework is a jewel-encrusted spaceship. <laughs> Dazzling. <laughs> it's 
the wings have wings, and those wings have other things, and there's a, a glass window that I have literally never seen before. In the six years that I've been teaching there, I have never seen this glass window. He must have had it since the beginning of second grade and just hidden it in various places. It's beautiful, but I'm stuck with a dilemma. What do I do with this? If I accuse him, then number one, the second graders are kind of intense and I'm a little worried about what they would do. <laughs> number two, I already told the second graders it couldn't have possibly been my boys. This is my reputation on the line as well. I don't want it to have been him. I could, it occurs to me, just steal it back. I could just take it. Because if he tried to say, someone stole my jewel-encrusted spaceship, that would be on him. That would be his, you know, that's a dilemma he would have. <laughs> but then I realized that that, would be, that could possibly be framing another kid, and I, I do have, I have my line. I will not cross. So I'm not going to frame a kid. So instead, I wait for a Friday when we should be taking apart our things, and he has not been taking apart this spaceship. And I wait till Friday, I get him alone, and I say to him really casually, um, so don't forget to take apart your spaceship. And he looks at me, and he knows I know. <laughs> and, he's, and, and he says something really ballsy. He goes, I did. <laughs> I already did. <laughs> I sit down with him. I open the cubby. I show him the spaceship. And I say, this is an amazing spaceship. <laughs> you did a really great job. <laughs> but you got to let it go. And we cut a deal. And over the course of several weeks, we dismantle the spaceship very, very slowly. He do I, I can't just smash it. I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to just take the whole thing apart. And I start secretly putting those jewels back in other people's cubbies <laughs> for him so that he can still be the head of the black hole boys and not lose that reputation that he has that he loves and so that I don't have to you know, go back on my word that my boys didn't do anything. I was an accessory to a third grade crime. There's no way around that. That's it, thank you. That's Michaela Bly.